So Verest has won the last two, he's won the last three. Four hundred medley final for men in this European Championships, the last night, night seven. And in the centre, the fastest seed, David Verasto of Hungary, going for his fourth straight title on this men's 400 medley. Litchfield, though, in lane number three, one lane up from him. Silver, three years ago, can he promote that into a gold? Going out quickly, though, is Rossetti of Italy up there in two, one lane up from uh, Litchfield in three. I thought Verasto got left a little bit on the block at the start there. A little nap, but uh, fought back over the first 50 to get back on terms. Rashto was uh, swimming in the European Championships back in 2006. He's been around a long time, 32-year-old and successful, very experienced. But it is Rossetti of Italy who's taken on the early pace. Expect the lead to change. The swimmers will be swimming to their strengths. Generally find the breaststroke leg can be one that really turns the race on its head. Well, Max Litchfield turning in sixth position, but uh, that's fairly traditional for him. The leader in lane two is Rossetti of Italy, and then in three is Litchfield. And Litchfield looks pretty good at the moment, you know. He's in a decent position. I've got to say, his work ethic in training is just unbelievable. His coach sometimes has to hold him back a little bit. Sometimes he works too hard. Did have a really bad shoulder injury for a while. Had to take a, a year or so out. But uh, the importance for him, for the British team, particularly but as an alternate at the moment on that men's 4 by 200 meters freestyle relay, where in Tokyo we could well challenge for the gold. Well, very quick out down that first 100 meters was uh, Rossetti of Italy, but now going pretty well. The guys in the center lanes also were uh, bored in of Russia in lane seven, close to us. That yeah, was a good backstroke leg there from uh, Max Litchfield. It's really solid in the, the middle of the medley. He's a very good freestyler, so he will finish strong. Verashto, though, very good breaststroke swimmer, so expect to see him, if he's going to, make a move on this third 100. Max Litchfield will want to stay with him. A lot of good freestylers in this, a lot of good dist distance freestylers in this race, so it will be a battle in the closing stages. Well, it certainly will, and Litchfield's looking pretty good now up there in three. There's a, there's a lot of black cats, but he's the black cat in lane three closer to us, but going really well in seven. It's the 18-year-old Russian Borodin, the world junior silver medalist. And uh, this is pretty quick, so Borodin is, is over first. Verasto second now. Litchfield still in third, and one and a half seconds. Well, Litchfield is a very good uh, freestyler as well, so this is not too bad at all for Litchfield where he's sitting, but it'd be quite good for him to get closer to Borodin. Borodin, a very good breaststroker, so of course making the most of this as Verashto tries to make a move on this one of his strongest strokes as well. But uh, they will need to have a good lead because, of course, Max Litchfield, very, very good on distance freestyle. Peter Benek known for his freestyle as well, but Borodin, what a lead he has given himself. Well, this is really impressive. Unless he's got a shocking freestyle, this is all over. It's going to be very interesting to see what it's like. Borodin, the 18-year-old, leading by nearly one and a quarter seconds from Verasto in the center, and Litchfield is still in a pretty decent position, but there's a massive scrap going on from Silver, Bronze, and Fourth. And are they starting to charge against Borodin? Has Borodin gone a little bit too early? Well, Borodin has the fastest time in for a European this year, and he is showing uh, just why that is. Uh, Max Litchfield in three is coming back nice and strong, but it is a battle for that bronze medal. Verasto going well as well. But it's got a bit of a ropey freestyle board and he sort of swims and stops doesn't he what a bizarre stroke but look at this up the top there this is really interesting Rossetti of Italy looks very good indeed also going well is Litchfield in three it looks like it might be the silver and bronze to those two at the moment but uh, no doubt about the leader Borod in leading look at the battle for silver at the top there Rossetti's leading it and Litchfield can he get the touch Borod gets the gold the silver to Rossetti and wow that's a great bronze medal for Max Litchfield of Great Britain Oh, what a swim from him, and he is back. He spent a little bit of time in the wilderness with that uh, really dodgy shoulder, had really bad shoulder surgery, taken a long time to get back, but wow, he's right back in it. Well done, Max, that's such a difficult event. And to come back on a 400 medley, 
and win a bronze medal at the European Championships with 60 days to go still to the Olympic Games. That's great news, Karen. That is superb news, and uh, he swam that really well. He swam that sensibly. He swam it to his straight strengths. It was a battle in the closing stages, and for these guys who haven't raced much, they need that. They need to feel under pressure. But Borodin, a junior world record for him in uh, winning that title, and what a talented 18-year-old he is. <laughs> Look at that face. That's the face of the new world junior record holder on the men's 400 medley. I tell you what, I'd be falling, putting all sorts of faces if I did something for him. It's such a tough race, that is. Goal to the 18-year-old Ilya Borodin.